Hi, I'm Mary Burley. I'm the Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum. And I'm here with my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator at the Museum. And we're both here with our friend Florence the Chick. And this week we're talking about pets in different Norman Rockwell paintings. And the painting today is Breaking Home Ties, which Norman Rockwell painted in 1954. Uh, we chose this painting because it really celebrates how a pet, and in this case a family dog, a collie, can show the emotion of a situation in a family. Um, and, and pets, in addition, help us to understand and notice our own emotions. So in this image, um, a, a rite of passage is taking place. The young man in the image is getting ready to leave home and go to school. Uh, it's a very familiar story as people grow up and, and leave the home where they grew up. And we see a lot about the emotional uh, world of this experience in the dog's eyes and, and posture. Um, so we invite you to think about that. And with that, Stephanie uh, will share some thoughts about things we can notice. What story do you think this illustration tells? And what are the clues that Norman Rockwell has placed in the picture that help you understand it? Is there one character in this picture who is really expressive, even though he cannot speak? Not in the traditional sense, anyway. Where is he resting his head? And where is he looking? This father and son are waiting for a train might be leaving and where do you think he might be going? The differences in their clothing and the things they have around them might actually offer a clue. Have you ever noticed how dogs and other animals seem to express emotions from joy to sadness and everything in between? Norman Rockwell painted Breaking Home Ties at a time when his three sons were living away from home. Experimenting with different ideas, he chose the running board of an old truck over a railroad station bench to include in his setting. Norman Rockwell wrote, that year, meaning the year he did the painting, my three boys had gone away and I'd had an empty feeling. It took me a while to adjust without them. This poignancy was what I wanted to get across in the picture, but there was humor in it too. I put a funny kind of suit on the boy because he was a ranch boy leaving home for the first time. And his father was holding two hats. One, the boy's beat up old rancher hat and the other, his brand new hat. The boy was carrying his lunch all done up in a pink ribbon. I drew a cully dog with his head on the boy's lap. The father couldn't fully express his emotions, but the dog could. Notice here that the dog and the father seem to have a shared feeling. While the young man is looking off into the distance and maybe even imagining what his future might be. There are some fun facts here and I wonder Mary if you'd like to share them. So a couple of fun facts about this image are, are first, Rockwell chose to paint this image because he was working through his own feelings about uh, his boys going off to school. And I think it's a good example for us to think about because as we go through life's transitions, um, art and music and making art can help us just like it helped Rockwell. Um, the other fun fact is uh, Rockwell put the red flag on the left uh, in the image because this boy and his father um, lived on a ranch and they actually had to use that flag to stop the train so that the boy could get on it. Um, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of red in the image, but the red creates a circle around where Rocco wants us to look. Um, and so in addition to using it to make some very fun fashion with socks and a necktie, uh, that red is there for a reason to show us what to pay attention to. And uh, as you look at this image, we also invite you to think about what you can do. 
um, a neat thing you can do is look at the pets and the animals in your neighborhood and notice their emotions. Are there ways that uh, how they express themselves and, uh, and how they interact as things are changing in your household? Um, are, there, are there movements, um, do they help you understand the bigger emotional life behind what's happening? For example, um, if you've ever packed a suitcase and you have a dog, do they share a response to that packed suitcase? Um, if you don't have a pet, look, at, look for the squirrels and the chipmunks and, and other animals around your home because they often share emotion too. We hope you have a great day.